Okay, so let's try to make this video about uh, reshaping body. I can use only one hand, as in the other one I have to have phone. So, <laughs> let's say this is your body, okay? Somebody's body, and this is you, and this is your belly, this is your butt and legs, okay? So, you're not a fat person, you just have a layer of fat here. So when you exercise, you should lose weight here, not weight, but a mass of fat. So you should actually exercise only this part. If you go just on diet, you will lose weight, but you will keep the shape, which is not good. Because even if you uh, have most fat here, you still have in the other parts of body. And if you slim without exercising the right parts... Um, you will continue losing everywhere and you will keep your shape which you don't like so what you should do is exercise the parts that you don't like that you want to reshape now what's going on there here is your bone, right? and here is a muscle and here is veins and here is fat cells they are big, they have grown big in between them is veins and here you have the skin so what you want to do is when you're exercising you want this muscle to contract up and down and pressure and squeeze a little bit these fatty cells so the fat goes out into the blood and it takes it to the organs and uses for energy but if you exercise too much or with weights then muscles grow big while you still have these fatty cells and veins and the muscle squeezes these fatty cells even more and then these fat cells squeeze your veins and then everything is squeezed and there cannot be, how do I say, normal um, exchange of mo molecules or um, food. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm a bit confused. So... You don't want your muscle to grow under these fatty cells. You want it to contract up and down and do like this. And the veins are not squeezed all the time, but they are just contracting. So this uh, fat would go out into the, into the blood. And so the blood takes it. And then muscle goes down and the veins are not squeezed. So uh, you should not exercise with heavy weights and not exercise too much. And you should not actually exercise your whole body, but you, uh, but you should just exercise the parts that you want to reshape. And when you reshape it, when you lose only uh, f excessive fat from the parts that uh, you don't like, then you can continue growing your whole body, shaping it into something else, I don't know. But for now, it's important that you do this, your belly, and that fat cells uh, squeeze, that fat goes out of them. And for that, you should uh, exercise regularly, it's the most important thing. And you should not do too heavy exercises, because they will grow your muscle and squeeze these fat cells and squeeze the blood veins and then you will have big muscle and the layer of fat above it which you can't solve anymore because everything is like... Um, there can't be any exchange of uh, substances <laughs> in between in between these cells and blood and your body. I don't know if I have, have explained it well. But, but what I'm saying is that uh, I think that you should exercise just your belly and just your back for now. And maybe the boobs, because we don't want you to have bigger boobs than I do. <laughs> um, and not do it with heavy weights. Better do it for one hour, for two hours, without weights. Uh, and do it fast and quickly so these contractions of muscle happen all the time 
on these fat cells and they squeeze them and the fat goes out. And by all means, do not eat after exercising, but drink water. Like, don't eat, like, two hours after exercising. So the body has to spend uh, this fat. It has to use this uh, fat from these fat cells to make energy for you. I don't know if I'm good with these explanations. Oh, my God, is spanked this life. I wish I was a child again. Would you go live in the woods with me? I would so like to go live in some woods with you. I would even jump into the cold ocean. 